Good morning students. This is 11th standard botany video class. Video 4. In this video, we are going to continue the topic Taxonomy and Systematic Botany lesson Families. Dear students, last video class we have seen Aposinaceae family and the botanical description of Vinca rosia. Now we are going to see another dicot family, Ephobaceae, in this video. Dear students, see the family Ephobaceae, Castor family or Spurge family. According to APG classification, Peraceae, Philanthaceae, Picrodentraceae are included from the family Euphobiaceae. See the systematic position Kingdom Plantae, Clad Angiosperm, Clad Eudicot, Clad Rosids, Order Malpigeals, Family Euphobiaceae. Then Bentham Hooker classification is the important three more question kingdom plantae class dicotyledonae subclass monoclamidae series unisexuals order euphobials family euphobiaceae dear students this family is otherwise known as castor family in tamil it is known as amanak that means we are getting Oil is known as Velakenna. I have been so long earlier. That is said to be Castor family. Now we are going to see the general characters of family before BACA. This family includes 214 genera and 5600 species. They are distributed all over the world. The large amount of genera which is present in Africa and South America. Next, habit. Most probably they are 7 feet in height. That is more than 7 feet in height. That is sherb plant. Resinus communis. That is Amanak or Muthukote. Jatropa gossipipolia. That is Kota Amanak chedi. Or some of the species are tree, example Emblica officinalis, that is gooseberry in English, Nilica in Tamil, Herb, that is 3 feet in height, Philanthus amarus, that is Kira Nelli, Twiner, Tragia involucrata. Some of them are living on the desert region, xerophytic plant, example Euphobia species, that means all the Kallichedi, that is aloe vera, yev, everything it's at cactus, everything it's at be, euphobia. With the cactus like philoclats, plants usually contains milky or watery substance. Next, root, it's a dicot plant, taproot system, stem, aerial, above the ground level. Erect, straight, or sometimes prostate, that is partly horizontal and partly erect. Example, euphobia prostata is the important one more question. Herbaceous or bushy appearance, or some of them are strong or woody stem. So, in this plants, stem is modified into flattened, leaf like, succulent, that means storing water. In several species of euphobia, for example, aloe vera, such modified stems are called philoclats. It's an important two more question. What does philoclats give example? The answer is stem becomes modified into flattened, leaf like, succulent in several species of euphobia. Such modified stems are known as philoclad. The stems are cylindrical, 
having number of branches some of them are thick or hollow usually contains white color milky substance that is said to be latex in euphorbia thirukalli kalli chadi la odichi paathumna paala kottam for example opensia chapati kalli irukku liya adu odichinga na white color substance will be oozes outside isn't it that is said to be milky latex or in some other plant the watery substance are oozes outside that is jatropha curcas next one leaf stipules are present at the base of the petiole or some of the plants it is absent extipulate leaves are simple arranged in alternate phyllotaxy most probably they are reduced in the form of thorns mulla mari irukum in some of the xerophytic plants or deciduous means fall off from the plant body in several species of euphorbia and resinous communis that is amanak plant the leaf is look like palmately lobe look like our palm amba kai mari virinjirukum or deeply lobed in maniot utilissima that means tapioca maravali kelangu the stipules are modified into pair of spines in euphorbia splendent is the important one mark question or glandular has in jatropha curcas so one more question that stipules are modified into spines in euphorbia splendens glandular has in jatropha curcas in euphorbia species the leaves are surrounded by a cyathium inflorescence beautifully colored in euphorbia pulcherima it is otherwise known as paul periki tree that means large amount of latex milky latex is produced in the plant pot known as euphorbia pulcherima that is known as paul periki tree it contains unicostate or multicostate reticulate venation next one inflorescence this family members which are showing different types of inflorescence the croton plant and resinous communis shows the terminal raceme inflorescence and the catkin in acalypha ispida cyme in jatropha solitary axillary cyme inflorescence in philanthus asperulatus cyathium inflorescence in euphorbia species dear students is the important three mark question write the different types of inflorescence in family euphorbiaceae the answer is start from terminal raceme end with euphorbia species next the cyathium inflorescence of euphorbia is the characteristic features of or special type of inflorescence of family euphorbiaceae you already studied cyathium inflorescence in the reproductive morphology special type of inflorescence is known as cyathium which is contains a single naked terminal female flower at the center which are represent by a tricarpulary gynecium a female flower is surrounded by a cup like structure or involucre formed by four or five conate sepaloid bract in the axil of the each bract develops a group of stamens that is male flower in a scorpioid sign manner each stamen represent the naked male flower because it is joined structure the upper portion of a filament bearing the anther and the lower portion represents the pedicel of a male flower bearing the stamen the nectar secreting gland is present at the rim of the involucre that means neck of the involucre 
द ग्लैंड आर ओवल आर क्रसन शेप आर मून शेप हाफ मून शेप एंड हाफ एंड ब्राइटली कलर्ड दो द सयाम इज अपियर्ड एस ए सिंगल फ्लॉर बट इट इज नाट ए फ्लॉर इट इज आक्चुअली इन फ्लॉर सो राइट ए शार्ट नोट आन सयाम इन फ्लॉर इज इंपार्ट थ्री मार्क अंड फै मार्क कोशिन् The answer is start from the sayatiyam, end with the. Actually, it is an inflorescence. Next, andrisium is the male reproductive organ. The number of stamens are vary from one to many. In Euphorbia species, the stamens which are represents a single stalk. In resinous Communis five stamens are present, but each stamens are profusely branched. In Jatropha, it contains five stamens arranged in two balls or two circle. Indefinite stamens are present in crotal area. That means crotens. Sorry, not crotal area. Crotens. The filaments may be free or connate, joined together. The anthers are two lobed dithecus. It will be dehis are split by apical at the tip or by transverse or longitudinal slit. Gynoecium contains three corpels, tricorpulary, but rarely they are showing two corpel, bicorpulary in Bridalia, Mercurarius, Tetra four or Penta five in some of the species. Wildlandia is a syn corpus. Corpus are fused together. Ovaries at the top superior. Rarely they are showing the semi inferior. Ovules are one or two in each locule and axial placentation. Rarely the locules are split into two, forming six chambers in Philanthus. Styles are three. Each is split into feathery stigma. Nectaries are usually present in the gynoecium. The gynoecium is present in pistillode, in staminate flower. That means in the female flower, a small portion of your gynoecium is present at the center, is known as pistillode in female. Sorry, male flower or staminate flower. fruit capsule or cycocarp it breaks violently or forcibly and digests into three one seeded cocci called regma in resinous communis it's a drupe type of fruit in emblica officinalis that is gooseberry and berry or samara seed seeds contains endosperm endosperm is seed In resinous communis, a small knob-like caruncle develops from the micropyle that absorbs and temporarily retains water, enabling the germination. That means that micropyle region, which are producing a knob-like structure called caruncle, which are absorb large amount of water for germination process. So these are all the general characteristics features of family. the four bsa dear students see the diagram this is the resinous at the tip a small knob like structure is called caruncle so now we are going to see botanical description of a genus resinous communis that is castor or almanac habit it is a tall perennial that is more than 2 years the life span is there shrub plant root is a tap root system because it is dicot family stem aerial above the ground level erect cylindrical in shape contains many branches at the stem is hollow hollow means not thick at the center they are having the cavity but at the base of the stem it will be very solid or thick 
glabrous showy leaf simple stalk is present petiolate hollow stipules are absent extipulate arranged in alternate willow taxi very broad palmately lobed usually seven or nine lobes are present the margin of the leaves are serrate pallupala irukum palmately reticulate divergent venation inflorescence terminal panicle dear students up to this we have seen flower in the dicot families now only we are going to see two type of flower male flower and the female flower which is present in the same inflorescence so we are going to see male flower and their characteristic future female flower and their characteristic future first one male flower bract is present bracteate bracteole absent e bracteolate stalk is present pedicellate male flowers are present at the lower portion of the inflorescence actinomorphic and incomplete that means one of the whorl is absent perianth now only i told you one of the whorl is absent so which one is absent calyx and corolla is absent which is modified into the another form is known as perianth the individual one of the perianth is tepal five tepals are present in male flower they are free apophyllous arranged in only one whorl uniseriate green in color valvate estivation odd tepal is posterior in position dear students see the diagram this is the resinous communis caster plant this is the inflorescence with the leaf of a caster plant see the inflorescence at the lower side of the inflorescence they are containing the male flower which is yellow in color near the tip or apex or terminal they are having the red color female flower see the leaf long stalk is there petiole then palmately lobed that is look like our palm nam ullangai pola irukku see how many lobes is there seven to nine lobes here left side they are having seven lobe right side is the eight lobe is there that means the lobes between seven to nine then see the margin of your leaf it's look like wavy nature that is said to be serrate dear students see the male flower perianth how many is there five is there that's why i told you tepals five okay male flower perianth we have seen andrisium numerous stamens up to 1000 it look like a crowded form and join together about 8 mm long cluster of stipitate phalanges each stamens are profusely branched anthers are globose attached at the base basi fixed gynecium is absent but a small portion of a gynecium is present is known as pistilode that is said to be the male flower then female flower bract is present bracteate bracteole is absent e bracteolate see the diagram this is the hevia brasiliensis rubber tree which we are getting rubber products tire slipper rubber like that so this is the white color latex is produced from the rubber tree hevia brasiliensis so this is said to be euphorbia splendens is a hydrophytic plant which are producing the colored flowers female flower contains stalk like portion so pedicellate female flowers are open for 14 days they are present at the apical portion of the inflorescence or tip of the inflorescence actinomorphic incomplete that is calyx and corolla is absent 
hypogynous that is ovaries at the top perianth are present the individual one of the perianth is a tepal three tepals are present they are free apophyllous green color valve testivation andrisium is absent but a small portion of the andrisium is present is known as staminode gynesium three corpuscles tricorpulary fused together syncorpus ovaries at the top to superior it contains three lobes that is tri lobe three chambers are present trilocular which are covered with a thorn like outgrowth or spiny outgrowth a single large ovule which is present in each locule on axial placentation the style is three with a three bifid stigma that means three stigma is there each and every one divided into two so three bifid by means two bifid stigma fruit a cycocarp with a spiny outgrowth split into three one seeded cocci dear students see the diagram at the apical female inflorescence female flower is present see this is the female flower tepal is three free they are not joined together at the center they are having the ovary and a stail with a number of branches each stail which are containing the three stigma each stigma divided into two so six like appearance is there but totally it is three so this is the cs of ovary outer exine the outer layer is thorny appearance or spiny appearance inner side they are having the tricarpulary three corpuscles is there and three locule each locule they are having only one ovule so this is the ls of a female flower outermost one is the perianth is enclosed by the ovary inside the ovary they are having the ovule a stalk like portion is called style at the tip they are having the bifid stigma then see the male flower many stamens are present more than 1000 is given here isn't it it's look like a crowded form and connate stamen then the filaments are divided into five branches with a small stalk like portion is known as tipitate phalanges at the tip they are having the stamen the structure of stamen a long filament is there at the tip they are having the dithecus anther the stamens which are having number of branches is known as polyadelphous condition that means more than one bundle of a stamen is known as polyadelphous stamen this is the floral diagram of male flower five tepal fused together dear students they are given wrongly in the definition of the petal perianth apophyllous they are given apophyllous means they are free meaning it's a synphyllous synphyllous means they are fused together okay so five tepals is there fused in a side they are having five branches of stamen at the center they are given the into mark that is said to be the pistillode of the gynesium formula bract is there at the base bracteole is absent ebrl actinomorphic male flower only they are given the male symbol then perianth p5 united within the bracket andrisium is many so infinity not countable gynesium is absent so zero when i am coming to the female flower floral diagram three tepal is there here also apophyllous is given wrong synphyllous fused together at the center they are having the tricorpulary ovule and ovary spiny nature 
three one seeded cocci at the center a small triangular shape is there that is said to be the staminode that means a small portion of a male flower the floral formula br is there at the base ebrl bracteate bracteole is absent actinomorphic female flower symbol perianth 3 fused within the bracket a is absent zero G is three one two three, and also they are fused together. So within the bracket, superior ovary. So we are drawn a line at the base. So this is the botanical description description of Resinus communis. That is castor plant. So dear students, I hope have you all understood a botanical description of Resinus communis. Up to this. i conclude my video remaining we will see in the next video class god bless you all the best children